I scraped and did theme examples.com and today we're going to have a look at how to create this animation effect where we have three image modules overlapping and bobbing up and down. So this effect has been used on a number of websites and it's one of the options features available um, in the Divi Supreme plugin, which is a multi-purpose plugin for Divi that adds a ton of different options and creating this effect is one of them. So I wanted to see if it was possible to do it just using the built-in Divi options. And no, it can't. Uh, entirely, but with a single line of CSS added to your modules, you can get uh, this effect. So Divi comes with built in animations. So these are image modules here, and they have slide. So all three of these have a slide animation. This one center, left, up. As you can see, you get a jumping effect as it plays from the beginning each time, jumps back, jumps back. So in order to get a smooth animation, we're going to add animation direction alternate into each of the modules. So that way, at the end of the animation, it will reverse back to the start rather than jumping back to the start so you get a smooth continuous loop and then you can create effects like this so i won't build this from scratch but i'll just show you how how the effect is created so do control l the layers up, draw down and see we have <coughs> one column on the left and these are our three image modules. So the center one, in terms of uh, getting this fan shape one behind the other, um, so for example, the left one, we need to make it smaller. So we've got it 35%. It's got a box shadow added. There is transform rotate here. So at minus seven degrees to give it that angle. And the animation we'll get to in a sec. Um, and then for position, you need to set to absolute and set center left here. And the Z index needs to be lower or zero, and then you make the center one higher. So in terms of the animation, it's on slide and this one's set to up. The duration, we've made it longer, so it's less hectic. Intensity's dropped right down to 2%. So that is basically how high or low it's gonna go. So 2% <clears throat> is just bobbing up and down, not too much. And then you need to bump the starting opacity to 100 easy and out as is default, and then you set it to a loop. And then that CSS goes here, animation direction alternate on the main element. Uh, there was also a 1% blur on that as well. Uh, filter blur one pixel. So then the right hand one is going to be the same. 
Uh, <coughs> I think it was set to down rather than up on the animation. And obviously the rotate is going to be the other way. The <coughs> central image, again, each of them have CSS here. And then on the animation, uh, it's slightly slower and 4% intensity. So it goes slightly further up and down than the two side ones. And on this one, the sizing is 45 instead of 35. And that is how this is set up. So you can play around with the different animations. You could do have them going sideways. So if we do left. <clears throat> so we go from that to to that, which also looks kind of cool. But you can also use um. So there's all there's different types of animation as well. So we're just using the slide there. But you could also do fade or bounce, zoom, roll, flip, fold, and then each one obviously has their own settings. So you play around and you get some quite cool effects. The only thing I've noticed. Um, so far, this um, this effect doesn't work if the any of the elements already have an animation applied to them, or if they're using, for instance, so this right one if it has scroll effects then it's not going to work. So let's turn this on. And the scroll effects override. So basically you need to keep it simple, not try and mix. Yeah, it's uh, that's probably a good thing. You don't want it getting Crazy. Okay, so put that back. <coughs> um, and the other thing to be aware of is it doesn't seem to work on modules that have animations uh, built in. So I tried it on the I think the number counter, and it caused issues and doesn't appear to work on the button module either. So use it on images and keep it simple and you'll get a nice effect like this. <clears throat>